Good morning. I'm here with uh, Jim Fagan, the owner of Tolano in Fitzroy Street, St Kilda. One of the, the largest and most impressive buildings in the street, but also one that attracts a lot of uh, out of out of town customers and a lot of uh, inner town customers as well. People from out of Melbourne come in here to enjoy the, the luxury and the pleasure of the place, which we've found is being restricted again by uh, the traffic scene here in St Kilda. Now, Jim, um, what have you found to be the most difficult part of this whole uh, operation that's been put upon you here? Well, we opened the hotel in 1997. We found that we had a, a very good period there to start with when the street was at its full flow. But since we've had the um, installation of this bike track, we found that guests find it increasingly difficult to get here. They find it impossible to find car parking. Uh, but the most person most affected by it all is the restaurant, which is now operated by Guy Grossi. Uh, and he's found that his customers have dropped off dramatically, especially over the last three years since this bike track has gone in. Uh, he finds on a busy summer night, um, he'll lose up to 30 bookings because people simply cannot get into the street. And even if they do, they can't find a car park. So it has been an abomination for us. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any rationale for it being there. It's very seldom used. You've got a very wide footpath. We find if guests pull up to stay at the hotel, they can't get out of a cab because there's no parking there. The only place a, uh, a cab can park is actually in the bike lane, uh, which of course causes great distress to the bike riders. Uh, if they park on the street, they can get, finally get out with a break in the traffic. Then they've got to climb over the curb from the bike lane, then over the curb to the footpath. Both times they've got a good chance of being hit by a bike coming Indeed. the other way. Now, as far as these new developments with the raised tram tracks, um, uh, not, sorry, with the, the new um, DDA compliant tram stops, what type of notification were you given about these changes in the street? I have been given some notification. I know there's a meeting coming up at the RSL shortly, which I will attend, uh, but I, I would just say to anyone that's looking at this that any more impediments to the traffic flow in Fitzroy Street is, is absolutely insanity. Okay, thank you very much. My pleasure. Cheers. With Jim Fagan from uh, Tolano again. Jim, can you tell us more about the issues you've been having or the problems you've been having with the council in regards to the artwork out in the street you want to give us? Well, this was the initial piece we attempted to put out the front of the hotel. The idea was that uh, Sydney Hotel is, a, is full of artwork and a lot of local students and um, artists' work is exhibited within the hotel. We wanted to extend it onto the street to make the statement go a little bit further, and we thought it would liven up the street. Uh, we'd seen what happened in the city of Stonington with a lot of sculptures on the street. But when we put this proposition up to the council, they advertised it, and we got universally condemned by 297 people who were completely dissatisfied with it. We've since uh, scrapped this idea because we could see the, the consent wasn't there for us, and we've now got a new uh, sculpture that we're putting up, which is three girls on mopeds, uh, but we're not getting a great deal of support from the council at this stage and it's, we're not sure whether we're going to get it through. However, it should go up with the next couple, couple of council meetings. We should get it up and we'll know for sure then which way it's going. Have they given you any indication why they're objecting to this art? No, not really. I, I, I get the feeling they'd like me to go before their panel and have them decide what they want, but I feel I'm the one that's paying for it. I'm installing it. I'm maintaining it. Uh, it should be my choice and I wanted it to be an iconic St Kilda artist and Frank Maloba is the man and I think his work mm. is very durable and it'll look brilliant out in the street with a bit of colour with, a, with an otherwise a pretty drab street. For instance though, if you were to sell up here and move on, um, would you be leaving the artwork there? Yes, leave everything here. So it would be a, a, a gift to the community? It's a donation to the, to the community and it's, a, it's a, a, a gift to the street in fact. For, uh, I've had many enjoyable years here. Yeah, well, just after walking around the, the premises here now, I can see your, your fondness for art and the support you give a lot of the students. Yes, we do. Thank yeah. you very much, Jim. Thanks.